What's going on guys? This is Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply the Smithers update to the popular Mr. Burns 801 vertical image for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there are a couple things we're going to need before we do this. First, we're going to need the actual Smithers update in a zip file, and I will drop in the description of where you can get this file. Second, we're going to need to download Cyberduck, which is an SSH transfer software which allows us to connect to our Raspberry Pi via Wi-Fi and third we're gonna need some type of terminal like I'm using on my Mac OS software uh, this can be done on a Windows PC with a similar program but I'm on the Mac so this is what we're going to use first things first we're gonna need to head over to our Raspberry Pi which I have in my arcade one up and we're gonna need to enable Wi-Fi so we're here over at my arcade one up and we're on the retro Pi main screen we're going to head down to Wi-Fi so we can set up the Wi-Fi configuration I'm going to click on that we zoom in here we're going to go to connect to Wi-Fi then we're going to connect to your network of choice mine is the first one and then we're going to type in the password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the password. And it hopefully will connect. So there you go. You should get at the top of the screen your IP address. We're going to need that and save that number. So write that down. So the next thing we're going to need to do is exit out of this screen. So I'm going to head down here, get to the exit. It will restart. We're back in the RetroPie main screen. The next thing we're going to do is go to Raspy Config because now we need to enable SSH transferring. So I'm going to click on Raspy Config. It's hard to do this sideways, but it's the only way, as you guys know, is with Mr. Burns, everything is sideways until you flip it. We're gonna head down to interfacing options, configure connections to peripherals. Once we've done that, we're gonna go to P2 SSH, enable disable remote command line access. Would you like the server to be enabled? Yes. Server is enabled, okay. So there we go. We are now going to exit out of this screen, go down to finish. And it's gonna drop us back into RetroPie. So as you can see, it drops us back into the main screen on RetroPie. We're actually gonna to need to restart. So I'm gonna hit the start button, go down to quit. Restart, and yes, I really want to restart. Now let's head over to the computer and continue from there. The thing we want to do is open up a connection in Cyberduck. We're going to click on Open Connection. Click on SFTP SSH File Transfer Protocol. Our server is our IP address. Username is Pi, and the password is Raspberry. Click Connect, and we are connected. Unknown fingerprint, I'm going to allow it. So as you can see, I have my IP address blocked just for security reasons, but you don't really need to see mine. All you need to know is how to get in. So once you see this, we can see the RetroPie and RetroPie setup. We're gonna go ahead and add a folder. I'm gonna right click, new folder, and I'm gonna call that folder Smithers. Create, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder and we're gonna drag our zip file for our smithers update and i will give you guys a link in the description of where you can get this zip file and we're just going to copy it over here and as you can see i'm going to allow it and it copies right over upload complete and that transferred it over to the retro pi so now let me see if i could move this out of the way get you see if we can make this a little bigger so you guys could see it now Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start typing in some of the commands we want. 
So I have that written down here. Give me one second. I'm going to start off with LS. CD space Smithers backslash enter and LS. You can see the zip file right there. Next command is unzip space Smithers underscore one dot three dot zip. And we're going to enter, and you could see we've unzipped the file. LS. And there we go. The next line, I'm going to enter the commands that we want the RetroPie to open these smithers and apply it. So that file is chmod space plus, oh, I always do that, x smithers dot sh. Enter. And this, this you can type here, but I prefer typing it at the actual one up because you can see it reload. And that's sudo space dot backslash smithers dot sh. And now I'm not going to press enter because I'm going to go over to the one up and show you guys how to apply it at the machine. Let's go. So as you guys can see, we're back at the arcade one up. We're at the main screen on RetroPie. Uh, we're going to head over to RetroPie. We're going to go in there. We're actually going to hit start. Could have done that before. Go down to quit. And we're going to quit emulation station. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background and sorry if there's a little bit of glare. So yes, we really want to quit. So now that drops us into the command prompt and we're going to go ahead and type this file. And I apologize again that everything is sideways, but you guys know how it is. So first thing, ls cd space smithers backslash zoom in so you guys could see that we're going to hit enter drop drops us to another command now the final command line sudo space dot backslash Smithers dot sh and that's it. I'm gonna hit enter and this should actually cause a reboot and it should reboot into the new emulation station vertical non-attract mode setup for the Mr. Burns, the Smithers update. So there you go. We're now rebooting. Hopefully this works. This does take a little bit, I've noticed that, and there you go. There's the flash screen, arcade one up. It'll run some commands. And there you go, emulation station. I am gonna let you guys see what it looks like a little bit. A lot better than a track mode, in my opinion. Uh, I wasn't a fan of having to scroll through 800 games to find the games that I want. This gives you, as you can see, a favorites list. Last played. Arcade, and it breaks it down to everything that we love and know. All games. Uh, I'm actually going to jump into one game. Just to check it out. Just to make sure it works but as you guys can see for anybody who's not a fan of a track mode and this will get rid of a track mode on this that it's uh there you go oh, there you go I'm, I'm holding the camera and doing this at one hand guys so i apologize but either way you can kind of get to the gist of it uh i like the look of this i really do I enjoy playing on this one-up, especially the Mr. Bird's image. And now that I have this Smithers update, I find that a lot more. 
what's the word I want to use? A lot more uh, user friendly. Let me exit out of here. So that's it. That's the Smithers update. And this is update 1.3. I have been told that there's a 1.4 update, which maybe I'll try at another point. But either way, I thought this would help out a lot of guys who have been looking to do this, especially I've heard a lot about the uh, annoyances of having to rotate the screen with the Mr. Burns image, which it took me a while to figure out as well. So anyway, guys, this is Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And I will talk to you guys soon.